What's up, Internet? I'm back at you with another Battle Box review. I got Mission 42 right here. Check it out. Mission 42. And uh, I figured I'd sit out here in the Georgia heat and uh, go through this box with you real quick. So why don't y'all stick around? Sweat it out with me. Yeah, the beard is substantially shorter. I'll get to that later. So it's Mission 42 time. I figured I'd sit back here in the backyard with the pond back behind me and a lawnmower on the other side. So hopefully that doesn't distract you. But uh, out here, man, it is hot. Shoo, it's hot. So you might see the progression of sweat on my shirt. But uh, nonetheless, let's jump into this box right here. So this is Mission 42. This is the Pro Plus level box we're gonna go through as always. And this box is all about tracking. It's a tracking box. So a very cool box indeed. Let's see what we got inside. So I don't have my table with me today. Figured I'd switch it up a little bit. Kind of like me <laughs> changing my beard up a little bit. Uh, so, uh, you know. We'll see how this goes. Might be a new style for a little while. But as always, we have our mission card right here. As the basic advanced pro and pro plus levels, the MSRP value of each item in each level and the total value of each box in each level. Mission 42, August 2018. The SIP rep is step by step. So it's all about tracking. Plenty of good information here on the back. Be sure to read it and uh, gain you some knowledge there. So starting off in the basic box, we have the SAS tracking handbook. Let's see what we had in here. This is a little different for me not having my table. Boom, check it out. The SAS tracking handbook. So in this book, SAS soldier and British Empire Medal Award winner, Barry Davies teaches us not only how to survive in the outdoors with the skills of tracking, but how to use these in a military standpoint. Included are many helpful tips on topics, including the types of dogs used for tracking, traps for catching wild animals, modern military tracking, using your surroundings to your advantage, and much more. So as I always say, knowledge is power, and we get knowledge and power by reading and studying skills and putting them to practice. So a lot of good information in this book. Be sure to read it cover to cover, and uh, let us know what you think about it. I've been th about halfway through it. I think it's a really cool book. Well, I guess since I ain't got a table here, I'll have to set them on the ground. So next up in the basic box is the UST Learn and Live tracking cards. These are really cool right here. Comes in this nice little package that I need to open. Today's EDC, the original knife of the month from Mission 1, the Kershaw Cryo 2 Black Wash. I love this knife. So here we have the Learn and Live cards. Animal tracking facts, descriptions, and photos. Descriptions, Descri descriptions. So this is a nice compact kit that you can keep in your pack, keep in your pocket, things like that when you're out wandering the woods. We've got all kind of really cool stuff in here. It shows uh, the animal, it shows their scientific name, and their uh, footprints, and gives you some information about them. They're striped skunk, look out now. You don't want to be tracking too close to a skunk, man, I'm telling you. Very cool, compact, nice little kit right here to have with you so you can identify tracks and learn more about them and kind of get your knowledge going on those. So once you get this down pat, you know, you pass them on to your friends, family, your kids, and let them, when they're out exploring, see if they can identify tracks. So really cool little card kit right here from UST. That's the second item. We'll set that right there on the book. And we're going to jump in to the third item of the box, which is Animal Tracks Casting Kit. Now, this is really cool, especially for the kids, okay? So, this is the Animal Tracks Casting Kit, and it is a North American kit. So, it includes a sheet on uh, North American animals. So, really, all you need is to add water. So, you've got this piece of plastic here so that you can uh, kind of make a barrier around your track and here's the material plaster that you use to uh, to form it up to make that casting of your track and this is also included it's got North American tracks on it with the description and the scientific name of what those tracks belong to and on the back some more information about tracks and casting so this is a really cool 
um, item to definitely use with your kids, um, kind of a, an artsy craft type thing that you can do with them to help get them outside. They find a cool track, a deer track, a raccoon track, or whatever it is, and they can make a cast of it, um, learn more about these animals, and have something that they can keep in their room or whatever, or go show to their friends at school of the, uh, the track that they made a cast of. So it's a really cool thing right there to do with your family, for sure. Next up in the basic box is from Wazoo. It is the Wazoo Tracking Field Kit. The Wazoo Tracking Field Kit. This is actually pretty, pretty cool, and to be quite honest with you, I kind of need one of these items right now because I don't need a knife to open this because I'm sweating. Let's open her up, see what we got. So what we have in this kit is an Animal Tracks bandana. And we all know there's numerous uses for a bandana in survival situations. And this one right here kind of adds to that by giving you illustrations of tracks so that you can identify tracks, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm gonna use this to wipe sweat off of me throughout the rest of this video, probably. And then we've got this cool little bracelet slash ruler right here. It's really good to be able, when you're tracking, you can uh, measure your tracks and get information, get an idea of the size of the animal, et cetera. Um, it talks about that quite a bit in the book. But what's cool about it is it also is quickly like a bracelet I remember these when I was a kid in school, man. Everybody had these kind of uh, bracelets or whatever. So what they did was they incorporated that in a way that you can easily keep this with you and have a ruler while you're out tracking. There's on there, right there, right there. It's got some deer on it and a bear. Got a deer, bear, a fox. Uh, it looks like a wild hog. Got an armadillo, got a raccoon, and a coyote all of which I have down here, except for the bear, I think. Oh, there's a rabbit, look out, ah, oh, there's a panther. And one thing that's kind of cool about this um, animal tracks on, on the bandana is they're pretty much right at actual size. So um, kind of helps you a little bit better identify them. So, but they're not small tracks that, that are hard to see. They're, they're pretty dang close to being the scale. So really cool product right there. I'm gonna keep that close by so I can wipe my face. The last item in basic is actually something that I've used for a long time, not this exact product, but I wish I had these, but it's called the fire tags or trail markers. I've used trail markers for years and years and years as a deer hunter and as you know tracking animals and stuff like that. Um, very useful for many different reasons. Um, marking your stands so you can get to them in the dark and get out in the dark. When you're tracking an animal, you can mark a tree with one of these if it's at night so that you can you know, locate last sign. So if you go out and you, you've lost a blood trail or you lost track, you can come back to that exact spot and start over again. And also it's great for if you're tracking and then it gets, it's starting to get dark or whatever, you can use these to locate a track later if you need to pull out because you're pushing the animal. Um, you need to give it some more time you can mark your way out and then come back when it gets dark. But these things right here are absolutely awesome. They're way better than your typical tacks that you put on the trees that have a one dimensional line of sight. So in this pack, you get 12 tacks, you get uh, 3D and 4D. You get six triangular ones and six square ones. These trail markers are the brightest I've ever used. They really bounce light back extremely well and they do it in, in numerous directions. So you don't have to be right straight in line of sight of that trail marker to be able to get a return of the, the light bouncing back to you. So they're very easy to use. You simply just push them into a tree, you know, you're on your way. You can see these up to 300 yards away. So you're able to space them out pretty good. So 12 tacks can get you quite a good long trail going. The square ones kind of have a yellow color to them, where the triangular ones have an orange color to them. So one thing that I really do like about these, outside the fact that they're really bright and they're multi-directional, is the fact that they work great even when they're wet. Some of the tacks that I've used in the past in hunting situations and tracking situations, um, if it has rained or there's a lot of dew out, 
they don't reflect light very well for whatever reason. I guess you know just the film of water on it just you know kind of messes with the with the uh, return of the light that bounces. So these right here work great even when wet, which is a plus when you're you know out there and it's raining or it's very humid and wet outside. Very, very cool product. And that is the last product in the basic box. So now it's time for the advanced box. And first up in the advanced box is a pair of binoculars. These are eight by 21 Bariska Lucid binoculars. So binoculars are a really good thing to have when you're tracking um, simply because it's good to really visually see out in front of you. When you're tracking animals, or even if you're tracking a person, you don't want to be pushing them along. It just makes for a longer tracking job, right? So if you're able to stop, quietly take a minute, scan out in front of you as you progress, it's a really, really good idea to do that. And having a good set of small, compact binoculars are uh, a lot of help um, when you're trying to do that. You don't want a really big, bulky, and extremely um, long, um, long length, uh, as far as magnification, pair of binoculars, because when you're tracking, you want to be able to see the little things, see the details. If you're zoomed out a whole lot, you're missing a lot that's in between you. So these are a nice set of small, compact binoculars that are great to use for tracking purposes, but a very nice, small, compact, easily, you know, portable, little set of binoculars that are great when tracking with. But I do believe there's a bass up under that daggone tree over yonder that I really need to go see. One thing I will say about these binoculars that I was surprised about, the depth of field and the color in these things are really good. And what I mean by depth of field is, is um, when, you're, when you're able to focus on an object and it's blurred out behind it, so you're really able to focus in really good on, uh, on say an animal or a tree or whatever. Um, they're really good with these glasses. And typically you gotta have really large um, glass to be able to do that. So these actually <laughs> really surprised me when we were testing them. Um, so that's what I mean by depth of field. It's kinda like when people comment on my videos, hey man, whatever, you weren't in a warehouse, you were in front of a green screen. Well, it looks like that because my focus actually was perfect. So it's that shallow depth of field. Everything behind me is blurred out. Everything I want is nice and crisp. That's what you get with good focus and depth of field. And that's what I mean by that. So um, to the guy in the last video that was like, yeah, right, you're in, you're in a warehouse. Yeah, I was in the warehouse. It's called, it's called focus. It's called shallow depth of field. You're welcome. Anyway, these right here actually really impress me. I kind of get the feeling of a larger optic pair of binoculars. The color is very good in these, the depth of field, the focus is very good in these. I think you'll be very impressed um, by the size of these at first glance. You're like, man, these things aren't gonna be all that great. They're actually really, really good and excellent, excellent for tracking. So the second and last item in the advanced box is from BattleTac. It is the dual flagging tape dispenser. So this is a really handy item when tracking. It's really, really good if you can mark things. Like if, say, say you're tracking, uh, tracking a human, say you're doing man tracking, and uh, you come across a track and you're with a group, you don't want the group to accidentally trample on that track. Having flagging tape where you can flag off around the track so that people don't step on it so it stays in good condition so that you can really study it and look at it and compare it to other tracks. Um, it's great to have tape to be able to do that. Also, marking dangers or anything like that as you're um, going through marking areas if you're with a group that, okay, this area has been looked for, no need to go over there, it's marked, it's been handled. Um, using tape to you know, mark a trail so that when you're kind of like a breadcrumb trail, when it's time to leave, you can actually get back out. Say you're uh, tracking an animal and you find blood, you can mark that area so that if you continue on your track, you lose blood, you can't find it. You can go back to that spot because you know that's the place you saw last blood. You can mark that area and you can always come back to it if need be and start over trying to find the next sign of blood. So this is a really cool dispenser to be able 
to quickly deploy and use tape without you know it's sometimes it's aggravating using tape it's in your pocket you pull it out it's all messed up because it come loose in your pocket yada 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 so this is a dispenser it comes with red and green tape um, it's got a divider on each side on the bottom here are holes where you can fish the tape through so all you have to do is pull some tape out break it off and you're good to go this attaches to your belt and uh, it's a great way to keep a couple different colors of flagging tape at the ready when you're out on a tracking job. Very, very cool product right here and extremely handy. I really enjoy getting products that have, uh, that, that solve a problem. Dealing with flagging tape can be a royal pain in the butt and this right here is a way to keep it compact, keep it readily accessible and keep the mess um, contained in this right here. So really dig that. So next up is the Pro Box, and in the Pro Box, the first item is from Nightshade, right there. It's from Nightshade. It is the 520 HL Signal Illuminator. I like to call it a headlamp. <laughs> but uh, this thing right here is freaking awesome. It's not your ordinary headlamp. There's also batteries included, so you're able to use these guy, this guy right out, right out of the gate here. So again, this is no ordinary headlamp. A lot of technology and design went into this light. The center light is a Cree Cyan 520 nanometer colored LED that is pulse modulated like a laser, but it can't cause permanent eye injury. The spectrum of light produced is at the peak eye response for humans, but undetectable to cloven hoof animals and does not draw bugs like a white light does. The first mode is a 100 yard spotlight that will run 20 hours on three AAA batteries. The second mode is a single white light and the third mode is a low red light. The fourth mode is a directional lantern for tracking, looking for contrast and even helps in identifying blood. A double tap of the button initiates an alternating flash which is good for marking a hazard or return locations and a triple tap indicates a strobe and flash which can be triggered by a single press and release when in flash mode. So this light right here is seriously intense. Um, do not turn it on while looking at it. <laughs> that, that green light is intense. So what's really cool about the green light again is uh, this pulse modulated. So it's got the intensity of, of like a laser, but it's not gonna permanently damage your eyes. But I wouldn't recommend looking into it directly or turning it on while inside of a vehicle or anything like that. This green light is, is extraordinary. It really goes out awful far. And what's really cool about green lights are if you are a hunter and say a deer hunter, for instance, or cloven hoof animal hunter, um, you can use a green light while going in and out of your stands at night um, for the day hunt and it doesn't spook the animals. I've literally had deer that were bedded down around a deer stand when I was going in early in the morning and literally walk right up on them. They, they know something's there as long as obviously the wind is right. You don't want your scent blowing straight at them, but you can almost walk right up onto a deer with the green light here. Um, so long as the wind is in the proper direction. So when you're in your stand, you're getting ready, you're getting all your stuff together. Um, me as a videographer, when I used to film for hunting shows, we always used a green light while we were setting up our camera equipment in the dark because it didn't spook the animals. So really cool light right here. Great light for tracking and many other purposes as far as signaling and things such as that. I think you'll be extremely impressed with the intensity of this light right here. So last in the pro box is this tracking kit from Survival First. This is a really cool kit right here. It's got a nice case. Open it up and you have quite a few cool things inside. Look at there, it's got a mirror. So this kit is great to keep in a situational bag or even in your vehicle for when the need to track may arise. The kit includes a flashlight, a measuring tape, a signal mirror, flagging tape, a compass, marking flags, and a notepad. So this kit is great, again, to put in a situational bag or keep in your vehicle. There's plenty of room in here for you to add more stuff in case you have that impromptu tracking job you need to do. And what's really cool is all the items in this box can fit inside of this kit right here um, with the exception of this, of course, the uh, flagging tape. But everything else can fit inside this box or this case right here, and you can have a complete tracking kit right here ready to rock in this case right here. Also, the notepad that came in the kit um, was not correct. It was supposed to be an all-weather waterproof notebook, so we did get some of those to add to your kit. You should find those in your box as well. 
So the last level subscription is obviously the Pro Plus subscription level, which includes the knife of the month and everything that I've already shown you. So this month, the knife is from my personal favorite knife company, and that's Topps Knives. And it is the Tom Brown Tracker number four. So this is the mini version of the Tom Brown Tracker that we all know about if you are Topps Knives fans. Um, this is a smaller version of that exact knife. The Tom Brown Tracker number four is a very popular knife. It's made its way into a lot of bug out bags on people's belts and even as neck knives. And that's how I'm gonna choose to use this knife um, is as a neck knife. Great for scout carry or keep it on your side at the ready. Very, very cool knife, very sharp knife and made by Tops in the United States of America. The mini tracker can be used for a variety of things such as skinning and EDC tasks and as a small backup. So the steel here is 1095, it is coyote tan coated. It'll stand up to years of abuse and it is corrosion resistant. The knife has an overall length of six and a half inches and it weighs about 3.2 ounces. So that's your knife of the month for mission 42, the tracking box. The Tom Brown tracker number four, really, really nice. Of course the sheath is really nice, very positive locking sheath and uh, it's just a sweet knife right there. Love it. Can't wait to get my cord on there and have my neck knife back. So that's Mission 42 of Battle Box, folks. Awesome box this month and a really awesome theme, tracking. A lot of times we overlook tracking. A lot of people don't know anything about tracking. It's a skill that we need to have, and it takes a lot of time to perfect that skill. Heck, you probably won't ever perfect the skill of tracking. It is a very demanding skill. But one of the world's best wrote that book right there to help you understand it and to teach you. So be sure to read that book. Be sure to get this casting kit outside with your kids and make some casts of some really cool tracks that you guys find together to be a great memory. And I'm sure both of y'all will learn a thing or two, right? The binoculars are awesome. That light is ridiculous. The tape dispenser right here solves an issue with dealing with flagging tape. It's a great box this month and had a whole lot of fun putting it together for you. So if you'd like to find out more about BattleBox, go to BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. You can go to the What's in the Box page, look at all past missions there, videos and the items that were in each box. Be sure to check out the forum on our website. You can join that and talk with the community of BattleBoxers there. A lot of really smart people there when it comes to prepping and survival, and it's a whole lot of fun as well. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next month with another BattleBox review.